Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Craig, also known as the Deployment Guy, here to guide you through the world of Microsoft Intune. Today, we're diving into a crucial aspect of system management and configuring what an end user has access to within Control Panel. By the end of this video, you will know exactly how to set up Control Panel visibility with Intune, ensuring you have the right level of control over your devices. So I'm logged on the test machine, as you can see we have access to every setting. In some scenarios you may want to block your users even accessing control panel, but in some scenarios you may want to give them access to certain ones, such as printers, so they can add their own printers at home. Okay, so to configure this we're going to go to Intune, select Devices, Windows, Configuration Profiles, select Create, New Policy, the platform is going to be Windows 10 and later, the profile type, settings catalog, select create. Let's give it a meaningful name such as Windows Configure Control Panel and this one's for our staff. Select next, select add settings. Now in the settings picker, we're going to type in control panel and hit search. And we're looking for admin templates control panel, so hit that. Next we're going to select show only specified control panel items user, so we're going to tick that. And then enable this. And here it's literally a case of inputting the items you want your end user to see. Now, it's simply a case of using the friendly names. So in this instance, we're going to use, let's see, we'll use mouse. And we'll also use, we'll go with keyboard. And we'll use one more. So we'll go with default programs. Obviously, these are examples, you'd use your own. So once you've inputted those, select next. On scope tags, select next again, assignments, we're going to add this to a group of our users. So I'm going to add it to users staff, so I'll take that and then select next and create. Now if we refresh this, as you can see that policy has now been created. Now for the purpose of this video, I did pause it and let the device sync. So I'm going to log back into that same device as v.company, who is a member of that group for staff. Input the password, just give this a few moments. Now hopefully when I go to control panel now, we should see those three items from the configuration. Yep, there we go, mouse, keyboard, default programs. Easy peasy. If you found the content of this video of any use, please don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Your support massively helps the channel grow and allows me to continue providing helpful tutorials. Once again, thank you very much for watching.